Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I wanted to ask you, or do you ever ask yourself, what is the most important thing in cybersecurity or for your organization? I would say security awareness, right? So in this video, we're gonna go over a try hack me room called security awareness. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. Let's get into it and have some fun. Alrighty then folks, so here we are on the desktop ready to go, right? So the room is called security awareness. I wanted to go over this room, I was doing it, I'm like, let me just pop open a camera and just talk about the significance of security awareness to your users, because this is how a lot of people get compromised, hacked and all that good stuff if you don't have a good program. So what is security awareness? Why is it important and the impact of being attacked different threat actors and just basic account security, right? This is super, super important. And sometimes we don't realize, right? The human element is sometimes, most of the time, the weakest link in an organization. Yeah, you can have a vulnerable web server, you can have vulnerable AD, you can have credentials in a description, blah, blah, blah. But 99% of the time, I can call your organization up, probably get those credentials just by being a nice guy. Right, so you just have to be super, super careful. I did go through it, so I did do a few little answers, but we'll go through that and answer the rest together. So what is security awareness? Obviously, you're the heart of your organization. No matter what, the human, the person, when you say, oh, who's responsible for security in an organization? It's not just the SOC team, the incident response team. Every single person in that organization is responsible for security. That's it's just the fact in the matter, right? So understand what it takes. Let me try to make this a little bigger. So, you know, understand what it takes to be a security. You know, right now we're just thinking, okay, we want to be cautious and conscious about, you know, maybe not clicking on an email, not, you know, giving people the bad guys uh, your information. But what about if someone texts you or emails you or calls you or, talks to you in person. Maybe someone can social engineer their way into a building. Just be cautious of who you're talking to, what you're conveying to them and all that good stuff because you never know who can be a bad person, right? So <clears throat> right here, based on a report from IBM, human errors were the main reason of 90% of success. 95, excuse me, 95% of success. That's a pretty high success rate, I would say, in my opinion. Right, so they pretty much concluded that people are the main threat, right? Us to humans are the main threat to any business. So who is security awareness for? Everyone, boom. And I, and I forgot that I even you know read this when I did this. We're all responsible, right? And it's not only, this video is not only about just to try hack me room, it's just about understanding the awareness of infosec security, cybersecurity and all that good stuff. So I want to try to maybe even sprinkle some real life uh, scenarios or, you know, some real life situations that I've went through, you know, if it pops in my head while we uh, are going along with this video. Right. So obviously, you know, you read it and you correct the answer. You, you know, there's no answer needed. But let's go to the next section here. Task number two. Why security awareness is essential. Right. So and nowadays, remote working is common for many organizations. We all 90 maybe 90% of cybersecurity folks, I would say maybe 90, I don't even know, maybe I'm a little high, maybe 80, 80% 80 of cybersecurity folks work remotely from home, maybe from the beach, wherever you are, you have an internet connection, you're probably working, right? So many will spend time working from their personal computers. I don't know about that. You know, I work from a company computer, but which increases the risk of being, you know, primary target for cybersecurity attacks. Maybe you're checking your personal email on that machine. Maybe you're downloading things from the internet, blah, 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 right? So hackers use various uh, kinds of tools and methods to gain access to staff computers and corporate networks. Security breaches can cost a company millions of dollars. Based on an online report, the average cost of a data breach was a massive nearly 4 million bucks. That's a, that's a pretty penny if you ask me as well as a huge cost uh, uh, to handle a cybersecurity attack. So if you have a cyber attack, you know, it's not only, okay, let's go, you're losing money. You have to consult with 
attorneys maybe, uh, 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 security insurance, cybersecurity insurance, and all that good stuff. So it can cost you know the company a lot of money, not only paying maybe God forbid ransomware or whatever, just the downtime of that organization. So it's 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 a it's a shitty situation to be honest. So security awareness training is a a must have skill to maybe counter these efforts, right? So maybe we can say, okay, Mr. Attacker, you're not going to get me this time. You know, you fool me once, shame on me. You fool me twice, shame on you. Whatever that saying is, right? So I know I'm blobbering. I'll probably get that in the comments, but I don't give a shit. But anyhow, so a few other, you know, things will help uh, prevent data breaches. We minimize and reduce risks and threats, improve IT defenses, and, you know, improve customer confidence, right? So you want to make sure your customers are safe and, you know, there's no data breaches out on the internet that their, your data has been leaked and now they lose confidence in you, right? So here we go. You can get this little proof. Um, I didn't even, I never clicked on this. So some from proof points, security awareness training, and you can go through this, but this is, uh oh, my computer's going to blow up, but Actually, I think my battery's going dead on my battery backup. So I'll probably be changing that this week. Anyhow, so 95%, 90%, 80% reduction, right? So we have a little a little uh, percent, sign, a percent graph here. So let's see, uh, read, a, read above, blah, blah, blah. You know, this pretty much is going to give us that same, that same thing. You correct the answer, blah, blah, blah. All right. So now we can go ahead and go to data, data and account security, right? So everyone holds sensitive data, whether your personal information, customer data, financial reports, uh, company um, details, obtaining data or holding it for ransom is a criminal's main objective. We want to make sure we're safe from that so we don't have to give cough up any dough, right? So you guys can read this to all the companies you know, the number of people affected, what got leaked. So down here, it shows like names, it, you know, the little logos along with the, the meaning for that, like bank details, birth certificate, or birth dates, party affiliations, emails, passwords, phone numbers, etc. right? So if it shows here how many people were affected by the email hack or by the eBay being hacked. So we can come back up here, eBay was 145 million, okay? So let's see what's the next one, right? I, I already answered that, but I, that's where I stopped, I think. Um, so what data was leaked for PlayStation being hacked? So let's come up to PlayStation and we can just give this a shot. Let's see, PlayStation. So we have names, I believe that's names, uh, addresses, uh, do, 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 emails, I'm guessing that's email, and then birth dates, right, birth dates. So name, addresses, let's see, name, addresses and then what was it email or oh, is it is it like that i'm guessing yeah and then birth to birth um birth dates i think that's it all right cool that was it so let's come back up or let's come down and task number four we'll go through this really quick all right so check if you have ever been in a data breach if you guys haven't heard, you can use something called Have I Been Pwned? You can put your information in there. Like, I think I've showed this, Have I Been Pwned? And I have an old, old email that I used back when I was actually like getting my Microsoft and Cisco certifications. So this is over 15 years ago, I think. So it's civic skates at Hotmail. I'll show this because I don't use this email anymore. And then if I have, I've been pwned and you can say, oh no, it's been in data breaches, right? 21 data breaches, blah, blah, blah. And I think I did use this for my MySpace back then. And you can see, anyhow, you can just put your email and check for yourself if you've been, if you ever been pwned and if your data has been leaked. 99% of the time there's data that's been leaked. So I don't lose sleep over it anymore, but some people do but that's how you can check, okay? So you can go to have I been pwned and see if your information has been part of a, if you have, don't panic and show you change your breach passwords and you should be golden. So once you do that, change your password and uh, 
and just use a password manager to create unique passwords for all your accounts. Obviously, never use the same password across different accounts. Like if you use, you know, I love InfoSec Pat for your password for your bank, don't use that for your Instagram and MySpace and not MySpace, LinkedIn or whatever. Because once someone gets a hold of that, they're going to spray that across different platforms. And if it's the same password, they're going to grant access, unless you have obviously the cool MFA installed. But some people don't have MFA. And if you don't, you are going to be screwed. Okay. So now we have different kind of cyber threat actors. All right. So the different kind of cyber threat actors, we can see you have nation states, we have cyber criminals, hacktivists, terror, uh, what is it? Uh, terrorist groups, and you have thrill seekers, you have insider, right? So different kinds of uh, categories here for different attackers. All right, so we can see here a threat actor and their motive. So nation states, uh, cyber criminals, hacktivists, etc. Right, so we can just come down here and we can see what, let's answer the questions, I guess, right? So who would most likely be interested in exploiting a business? So if we come back up here, exploiting a business, I would say it's going to be a cyber criminal, but let's see, uh, cyber criminals is financial, cyber criminal, profit. So I would say cyber criminal. All right, so let's just, let's just uh, copy this so I don't have to type it out. Okay, that was right, cool. So we have the next one here. Uh, who, mo uh, who would most likely be inter interested in exploiting a personal computer for fun? I think satisfaction, maybe a thrill seeker. Let's see what a, a motivation for satisfaction. I'm going to say thrill seeker. That would be mine because it's like, okay, I want to thrill some seek, some thrills, and let's see. Okay, cool. So that was correct. The last one for the day. Who would most likely be inter interested in exploiting a website to deliver a message? So that would probably be hacktivists, right? Because they're gonna probably deface your, uh, deface your site, you know, all that good stuff, just to make, make a point, right? So let's see if that's correct. I believe that's correct. And voila, we are done. All right, so we got 40 points. This is a walkthrough and this is pretty, pretty cool. So let's go to next. We don't have to do all that. We can close. And I would say 10. I really like these kind of. Uh... So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have anything that you use or any concerns or any questions about cybersecurity awareness or security awareness, throw it in the comments below. I'm curious to hear. And until next time, have a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.